what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Reborn Statue review on the Sauropod Nest Diorama, the Velociraptor Triplets, and the Theropod Nest Diorama over here. If you're trying to pick these up, you can get them at Big Bad Toys. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToysStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to Reborn for making this review possible. Uh, you can see that this one right here is limited to only 1,000 worldwide, so that's pretty cool. Uh, on the back over here, there's not much going on. Just a smaller image of the nest egg. Same thing with over here. Then on the side, you can see the Velociraptors. And on the back, you can see a couple images. And then there's Jolly, the hatchling Triceratops. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open. So here we have all the dinosaur eggs out of the packaging. I really like these Velociraptor eggs over here with the little baby Velociraptors crawling out. That is just really, really cool. A very, very heavy piece, though. This is weighing quite a bit. Um, I really like the little sleeping one right there. And then we have our two sets of theropod eggs. And then we have the sauropod eggs. So sauropods are your long necked, more reptilian esque type of dinosaurs, uh, like your uh, Brachiosaurus, you know, and the Apatosaurus. And then these theropods are like your T Rex and your Velociraptor. So, anyway, let's take a closer look at the eggs, and then we'll take a closer look at these Velociraptors. So, here's the sauropod nest looking really cool. I especially like this lava rock right here. We can get a variation of colors. I really like this light gray, and then we get some browns right there. Just this nest itself is just sculpted out and painted very, very well. I like that. And these little eggs are really cool too. Now you can see they have all kinds of little details in them. To turn down my lighting right here so you can see all that. That looks really good. A little bit of nest paint right there, but it's okay. Just turn that one around. And they all look unique to each other. It doesn't look like it's the same exact thing over and over, you know? Uh, let's see, this one right here. Yeah, they look a little different, but really nice sculpt on these. I think these are really cool. And then you can see like the nest itself. I'm just gonna pour all these out. See all the little divots right in here and everything so you can put the eggs in there. And you do get a total of 12 of these little eggs, which are so cute. I don't know why I like these little eggs. I kind of want to eat one though. They look like choco balls. And then it says non-scale sauropod nest diorama right here at the very bottom, 2015 reboard. And then here's our theropod nest, looking really nice as well. Uh, not as much color variation over here. We just mostly get this tan brown color over here and all these crevices and stuff sculpted in the nest itself but the eggs look really good too I really like these a lot you can see how you get some sculpted detail right there I really love that texture that they have on these these are dope so I'm not looking at every single one of them but you get the idea we get the color variation and I don't know I just think they're very very realistic looking I think these are really cool then just like the sauropod nest you know they all have spacers right here for all of them and I'm just gonna turn this upside down right there drop all the eggs and then looking right here at the bottom you can see it says theropod nest diorama and then you can see the velociraptor maybe a t-rex I don't know then putting all of these back over here is pretty easy this comes with 12 little eggs as well and then lastly we have lock stock and barrel now one thing I don't like about these is that they are removable and that's kind of bothersome for me because it's difficult picking this up and moving it around. You know, that they're kind of wobbly, so they're not really securely in there. And I don't really have a reason to try to, you know, get all kinds of different display options going on. I mean, which is kind of cool if you're into doing that with this kind of thing. I mean, I don't blame you for wanting to do that. It's kind of neat that you can change it around. But for me personally, I would just leave this in just the place that it's supposed to be in. And this is how it's displayed on the packaging, just like that. So I think that's pretty neat. But anyway, you can remove all three of them as I just mentioned, and then look on the bottom right over here, you can see lock, stock, and barrel of the Velociraptor triplets, and it's limited to only 1,000, so this is number 57 right over here. And again, I really like how the nest looks. I like these little fragments of eggshell right there. I think that's cool, and I like how it looks like you get the inner layer of the eggshell. It's a different color. Same thing with this little piece, and it does have color variation throughout, so I think that's cool too. So first off, I want to look at the sleeping Velociraptor. Oh, he's so cute. No, oh, you're so, so, so cute. Yeah, no, this is just so cute. These sleepy eyes. Oh, sleepy smile. Yeah, cute little guy. But looking right here at the bottom of his neck, I like how the sculpt came out and his little claws even have some color variation right there. Kind of sharp. Yeah. Looking really, really good though. The attention to detail on these is very, very well done. I like it. You get some cracks right up there. And then you get some slight color variations throughout. And I really like the texture on this egg too. So let's go ahead and put this guy in his place. And we'll just rest him right there. And then looking at this guy. Now this is actually my least favorite one out of the three of them. Just because that underbite, man. I I'm not a fan of this. This is actually like the biggest gripe I have with this set. Is just that underbite is just way too intense. And I looked at the packaging. And he doesn't have as much of an underbite in the package. So I don't know. It may just be this one right here. But... Aside from that, I really like it. I think the gold paint on the eyes is a really good choice. I think it looks really cool. I do like the color variation once again. 
And I like how these fingernails look and the tail looks really good. You can see that extra shell piece. A lot of colors involved in this. I think that's dope. But there that goes. All right. And then we'll look at the last guy right over here, which is actually my favorite one. I, I like this one the most. The, the only thing is, is that this eye is looking one direction and this eye is looking back and behind. Now, I don't know if scientists know for sure if velociraptors are able to do that, you know, kind of like chameleons, how they can move their eyes independently from each other but I kind of doubt it, I don't know. I like you can see his ear hole right there, some nice light green. So I think the paint came out really good on this, aside from that eye, that, that does kind of bother me a little bit, but maybe it's supposed to be like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, look at his little hands, they look a little cute. And we got some nice looking shell right here too, so let's go ahead and plop this guy on here. I think I may have put this one backwards actually, let's put it like, I think it's supposed to be like this, yeah. This is the preferred, or the way that they show it on the box, yeah. So they're pretty cool little guys. So to measure this out, the statue display stands at about six inches tall and you're looking at a diameter of about five inches over here uh, for the theropod nest you're looking at a diameter of four inches and then we've got about four and a half inches right here for the sauropod nest now the packaging says there's no particular scale for these but I just wanted to show the theropod nest next to the King T-Rex from Rebor and it looks like they're almost in scale but I think this should be smaller then here we have the nest eggs next to Shardimus Rex and Charlitosaurus Rex over here. Big thanks again to Ultra Maximus. Check out his YouTube channel, link below. But yeah, you can see that these kind of fit in scale a little bit better, I think. I don't know, especially with the T-Rex figure from Jurassic World. So I think these are pretty cool statues, especially these baby velociraptors. I do have my little gripes, you know, but for the most part, I think they're really good. Not the coolest thing Rebor has ever put out, but if you're a dinosaur fan, you're really gonna like these a lot. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more Shard in your face. Please check out my Patreon account. Your help is very much needed and appreciated. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toydozai.com for a photo gallery of images and the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.